I don't think I gave you those dice. Yeah, you did. did I? Hey, yeah. you, you earned those dice. Thank you. Your dice. But they're pink. They are. They're Margot dice. What's wrong with pink? No, I, I mean, dice. that just feels very, like, very Margot. There you go. This well, whatever you me. get, that's yours. What you decide to do with it is none of my business. But it has been a lot more fun for me this way. <laughs> so, Gavin, please, tell us what we are doing today. Shall we partake in breakfast? I mean, I really dig breakfast, buddy. We shall head downstairs and fix ourselves some breakfast. <clears throat> I, it is I, the garden. In the name of Caden Kaylin, I rebuke you. Get oh, out of oh, my friend. Th oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. Let's just smack his head. Oh, something was wrong with my The guardian's broke again. Oh, no. You know what probably would have fixed him? Is this Reese's peanut butter egg that I have saved in my refrigerator. Ooh, but, ooh, but, ooh. I think Margo deserves it now. Wait, that's, is this mine? That's yours. Well, then I get to decide what to do with it? I mean, you do, but it was given to you as a gift. So. It has the perfect peanut butter chocolate ratio. I mean, I've saved just this special one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I didn't hit you I in the I feel like head. you should have to earn it. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that he did. Oh. Okay, I'll take a recap, please. <laughs> I was going to say, he's asking us all this shit on tape. I'm like, dude, you really needed to give us the recap for yeah. it. Because I'm like, who? So last time, basically, like, like, then Carlo. Oh, 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 this recap? Somehow, <laughs> I don't know how, somehow was able to look past my charms and notice Euphidira. I'm not jealous. It's fine. Um, and they're going to get married and she's going to be the new blackjack and she's going to be a better blackjack and then Carlo is going to be jealous and sad and he's going to disappear and we're not going to care. But we'll find you something better. Don't worry. Uh, no, that's not the recap. That's <laughs> <laughs> the recap. The recap is... Uh, so, Gagarin got lots of potatoes. We headed back to the fresh brew to eat them, and everything was fine. We did not go on a venture with Gavin to Blackjack's place. We go back. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything else. Go ahead. At a certain point, I'm just waiting for that wall to mm. topple. These are my props. And then we left the city. And then we went back. Crossed high on our bridge. Huckleberry Finn raft. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see. You found Vin Carlo. You gave him eh, the. Uh, we found somebody claiming to be Vin Carlo. The magical rapier, the human bane rapier. We and then, right as it. the Dark Sphinx attacked, and it yelled, pointing at Vin Carlo, and yelled "traitor," he poofed out of there. Okay. You defeated the Dark Sphinx, uh, made your way around, found what you believe is the real Vin Carlo. We'll and hope. then made your way to where Neo Landis and Seneschal was being held. And there was once again fake Vin Carlo with a blade to the Seneschal's neck. And Gavin teleported Udafira right there. So she started doing her thing. Wounded fake Vin Carlo, who then again bamfed out of there. So then with Neil Landis in tow, who was adamant about getting the hell out of Dodge, you were thinking you were going to have to fight the entire, all the forces of the Arcona Palace oh, as yeah. archers were on the walkways. You, there was some creature with snake arms and whatnot, which you and Vincarlo dispatched quite handily. And then Glorio Arcona himself appeared, and instead of fighting you or ordering his troops to kill you. He instead ordered his archers to stand down graciously. Allowed you to take the boat and leave the premises. He was a nice host, very polite. And Neil Lennis, again, did not want to stay in the city. What he believes about the queen he wants to get as far away from the city as possible. And not Van Carlo was Man Meat Boss's girlfriend. Yeah. No? no. Man Meat Boss's girlfriend, girlfriend was, was the Vol daughter of, of this man. Vovo or whatever. The nice 
it's close. Yeah. Bow, bow. She took right? off the... I revealed who she was. <clears throat> she was pretending to be... Oh, yes, yeah. That's Glorio's sister, not his daughter. Glorio. Glorio! Can you say that on the camera? Glorio! I said it twice. It's his name. Now we're going to get copyright. For Glorio! <laughs> <laughs> Going to edit it out. But Neil Landis did not want to reveal too much. You're guessing his uh, time in captivity and the fact that the person he thought was a good friend turned him over to the Arconas. He's not really a, that trusting right now. But he, he did he's, spill enough to uh, tell you that the Queen is probably stumbled upon mm. something that everyone thought was just a legend. And if that's the case, then she is a far, far greater threat than anyone imagined. And the only people who might have a clue as to what exactly she found and what could be done about it are out in the Sunderlands. The Shuanti, who were the original settlers of this area, whose fort, Castle Corvosa, now sits upon its ruins. So after much rowing, Good job. You made land. I thought you were going to steal a wagon. You said, no, no, we've got money. We're going to we'll pay for one. What about those people? And then once again, we're on the road to Hars, to the inn, where a certain yeah. someone is a bit enamored of Margo. Waldorf, the innkeeper, who actually you have a deal with. Yes, 25%. I mean, just so many people are enamored with Marco that well, like... You, you really, you, you showed him some some attention. Oh, that's true. You did like kind of yeah. lead him on. Well, I mean, no, he's, you know. he's a nice guy. He was a nice guy. Yeah. Well, I like I'm not like leading him on. Like, no, not like Smedley. Oh. I did not initiate anything with Smedley. Whatever Smedley is feeling, I can't help that. Don't, you know, you don't have to keep it all Smedley bottled in. You can... You I have this nice innkeeper, uh -huh. and things are going really well, you know? Does Smedley have two wives? No, just she's, one wife. She's got a type. <laughs> Hers be innkeepers. Oh. I guess that's true. <laughs> Very odd. <laughs> they got a place to live, a steady job, they're good people. They, they keep me in ale, yeah. you know? Yeah, that, might be a, that might be a problem. We need to maybe see about some steps. <laughs> but, all right. Um, is, are we, um, who's, who's, Directing the wagon. I don't know who is. Um, I'm, not, I'm not on the I'll wagon. I'll drive. I walk. All right. Is there a place for me to take that nap? Yeah. Oh, taking a nap. I need you to roll notice for me, Margo. Okay. Is this a covered range wagon? Horse? Is it a non-covered wagon? Uh, I mean, you were the one paying for it. You no. Tell me. I, I don't remember how much we paid for it. So uh, we did not settle upon an actual monetary amount. We got cheap. It's got a wobbly, wonky wheel. <laughs> um, 15. The symbol that Leori gave you, where do you have that on your person? I, uh, it was on a chain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I would just have it like under my shirt. You feel a warmth under your shirt emanating from that symbol. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm gonna pull it out and just kinda hold on to it. Gently, I don't wanna hurt myself. They should keep tabs on you. <laughs> Have thoughts about Wardorf, and all of a sudden your your side piece alarm goes off. Oh, it's, it's weird. Got, it's got pointy ends on it. Yeah. yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> She's gonna go open an end. Like a hard marble. Say so happens I bought one. You gingerly <laughs> hold it. Unfortunately, the road is not the best, so <clears throat> ah. It's okay. It's worth it. And then in your mind, you hear her voice. What? Are you well? I think in my head, I'm well, but I could be better if you were here. Soon. Nice. And you get to that point after some time, you recognize this hill. You recognize those trees over there. Mm -hmm. This is where a certain hell knight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Met his end. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. There's where Gavin almost died by a horse. Mm. And that's where we buried that man's body. Mm. 
Memory lane. And then all too soon, you are back at Waldorf's Inn. Mm. There are uh, a couple of other wagons here. Ooh, business is good. How long was this trip? Uh, be a wagon? Yeah. Six hours, maybe. Oh, you look so much better. I feel so good. Yeah, you looked pretty rough before. Oh, uh, did I? Yeah, mm. you don't look quite so bad now. Oh, I feel a lot better. Thanks for, uh, you know, thanks for uh, keeping watch while I slept. Anytime. So, I miss anything? Yes. Yeah. You miss the place where we buried the body? What body? Of the man that the wagon we took. We didn't bury anybody. Dude, I was talking about. And then where you almost die. I don't remember. My horse. Don't remember anything that you're talking yeah. about. Horses love me. There was still that horse. Hey, Kagarin. Don't remember. Don't recall that. Kagarin, we didn't bury anybody. Yeah. Oh, and Carlo we did. and Neolandis are just. I don't think we, we did. We didn't bury <laughs> anybody. See how big the hoof is? Because we fed him to the pigs. It could, it could. There was no body. Oh. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Leaving bodies big. behind is for amateurs. I was raised better than that. Yeah. My mama raised me better than that. You have to stop telling secrets. What's a secret? It's something that you can't tell anybody other than us. And that's one of those things. And there's other people here, so we can't talk about secrets. Are we there? <laughs> it's Wait. inside, like, so yeah, you're, I, you're pulling I, up. I, Wait. I, <clears> unfortunately, uh, with his 15 on his notice roll, then Carlo. It's just, it's, it's all, it's all, it's just a story. Is a secret like when Gavin say, I'm going to go in Margot's room, but don't tell nobody. And he's there for a little while and then come out. What? <laughs> yes. That's never oh. happened. What, what does he do when he's in my room, Gagarin? You can I, tell me. I can't cause it's secret. No, but see a secret is something you can tell us. Oh, I don't know. He was there for very long. Maybe. Ten, seven, eight, nine second, one minute, hour. Are you certain these are the individuals we want to place the fate of Corvosa in? Please, then we're the only ones doing anything in Corvosa. Yeah, where have you if been? If you had another option, you'd be there. Your best friend was a Nobody drug, else was coming for a you. drug crazed artist who did hellscapes, but hey, whatever. You, you keep your company, we'll keep hey, ours. You, you keep judging us. Um, should you. Like sneak in and just get a like a lay of the land inside the inn. Just like see what's up. She's not very good at sneak. Why would we have to sneak? Well, she, like who knows sneak. what's inside? Nobody's looking for us. She's not good at it. I will sneak. Well, so oh no, well, so, I sneak better than I don't know, than just goofy. before we go barging Actually, in. Actually, Carlo stops you. We need not stop here. Where we're going is only about a five minute trip beyond. Oh, we yeah. must say, oh, we must check in. We, we have an investment <laughs> here, pal. I'm sorry? An investment here. We need to check on our investment. And friends. You have a school, right? Well, I mean, you had a school. You had a school, right? You might have a school still. I don't know. You, you got you paid to teach still. people how to do stuff, so you have an income. Turns out we have an income, too, and it's this. We own 25% of this. So why don't you go in and order yourself a fancy beverage, tip the, tip the staff well, and enjoy a few minutes, because we've been on the road for six hours, and I'm going to go get a drink and a sandwich. Yeah, because all that sleeping was rough. Thank you. You know, I, I look around me, and I go, who's going to have my back? And it's always Oofy. Oofy's always there for me. You I, guys, I don't I, know about I just, but. I can't. I can't feel my butt, so I like to get yeah. up. And <laughs> yeah. Get something to drink. We don't have to stay long. unless Probably it's get dangerous. off if you stop. Is it too dangerous to stop here with him? not seeing the point. It's literally five minutes away. Oh, uh, no. We fed them to the pigs. We, <laughs> we didn't bury them. I remember now. Yeah, there they are. I'm just going to walk in. <laughs> yeah, I go I in too. I'll hold a hand up to Ufi to help her down. Because she's my friend. I don't think she needs And I don't her. think the rest of you are. <laughs> ben Carlo grabs New Linus. You can't tell me you don't need a meal. Let's eat. Or two. Hmm. And then one to go for the road. Second dinner. Yeah. What time He's is been it? skipping meals lately and I'm not a fan. Early morning. Mar Marga's gonna waste away to nothing. 
Yes. Hey, Second breakfast. I know. All I had was like a full breakfast this morning. I... Barky, bring ale. You walk in, do you? Yeah, he said he All walked right in. The bar. You walk in, you see that familiar common room. I'll follow. There is a slight stain still on the floor. No, it's not. I thought we did a better job than that, sloppy. We've got to get better. Mm. Yeah, that could be from anything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Waldorf! There's a number of uh, individuals sitting at the uh, common room tables eating their hearty breakfast. The scent of bacon, sausage, eggs is in the air. Everyone looks up as you walk in. No one knows who you are. Well, man! Hi there. But Waldorf is behind the counter and. Waldorf. I told you, very good day today. You made somebody's day better. Yeah, We're ready I for some see. breakfast. And you shall have it. Please, mm. be seated. See a guy, he's very tall and very, very skinny, almost cadaverous. He's got this bent up, soiled hat tilted on his head. Comes right up to your table, looming over you. Over me? Hmm? Well, it's such a bad place to be. Where are you from? <laughs> Why are you so close? I'm gonna need you back up a couple feet. Personal space. Sorry, Your Majesty. Mm, thank you. Quite the uh, interesting group. Mm. Mm. I don't think we're interested. You can't sit with us. Why not? Because we don't have enough space. We just pull up a chair. No, we don't have room. There's plenty you of room. You notice Neolandis is doing this. The guy. Do we have a hat or something? His gaze hat. goes over him and keeps going. He doesn't seem to recognize him. I have him. a plague hat. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Your mom's house. Oh, uh, we, we come from Old Corvosa. Shut up, Catherine. Don't be telling people. That's so? Us. Yeah, she says hi. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep a straight face. I can't help but snicker. Look, Margo is tired of you, so can uh, you go back to your table? Is that your name? Margo? No. No, I'm Margo. <laughs> no! I'm Margo! <laughs> We're all Margo. Ben Carl. Margo. <laughs> Margo. Thank you. And we're magnificent. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're a traveling troop, are you? Mm. Entertainers be you. Yeah. I understand what you're doing there, little one. What's this one do? You lift heavy things, do you? Oh, yeah. Mostly I doors. I recall the last, the last gentleman in this establishment mm. that said we were a carnival? Might have been. And I don't remember time. that going so well. So I'm going to excuse myself. Does anybody want anything from the kitchen? Special orders? Special omelets? Anybody? Special mm. orders? Omelet, bacon, ale, Actually, porridge, uh, pancakes, I'll biscuits. Just you see uh, an elbow yeah, suddenly biscuits. and it's Waldorf. Uh, sir, please, my patrons are trying to eat. Have a nice breakfast. I'll uh, bring you more eggs if you wish. Ah. Eggs are on us. Hmm. Mm. I egg on me. No. He okay. sets frothy ales I'll before all eggs. of you. My kind of man. <laughs> what brings you? Uh, how are things in the city? I've not heard good news. Things have been grim. Things have been grim, my friend. That's I would mean. say that being right up where you're at right um, now is probably the place to be. Business has been booming so since all the refugees leaving the city. So it's it's an. <laughs> It's a harsh way to make a coin, but a coin's a coin. It's honest earned. So hopefully you've been uh, providing this excellent service that we've grown accustomed to. Um, so, but we need to come and check on our investment. Oh, of course, of course. So I'm gonna go look at the kitchen hmm. and uh, see if you need anything. You got a list, inventory, anything like that? Oh, um, um, yes. All right, I'll head on back and 
I'll let you guys do whatever you're gonna do. We're gonna sit here and wait for some eggs. <laughs> Okay. You see a You're gonna guess it's always difficult to gauge human years. She could be anywhere between twelve and twenty. You, you don't know. Okay. What? Yeah, I don't understand. I that's I don't think that's an accurate statement. Yeah. Yeah. Who wrote that? Charles Manson? Yeah, right? no kidding. But you see, uh, he has a, uh, a new server that was not here before. Oh. Well, hello there. I'm Gavin. I'm a partial owner. It's nice to meet your acquaintance. Who would you be? Hey, it's okay. What? It's okay. It's okay. We're friendly. We're friendly. I'm going to try to persuade her that we're friendly. I smile. Well persuade. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Seven. Both of you will notice. Boom. Six. She looks terrifying. We're so friendly. It's partially just vision, partially sensing of the arcane energies. But you see a flash as she's panicking of pitch black eyes horns and then it, it goes right back to a uh, her 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 do you have a sister sorry sorry wait uh this is uh dorothy i hired her on this is this has been booming hi dorothy <laughs> takes a uh, tray of food and rushes out oh. she's a little skittish did you, uh, you get a, you get some of that? You get a, a sense? Uh, she seemed scared, I guess. I don't know. Now, did that look like a faltering kind of a thing? Like, was it just a weird vision that I just had? Or do I think that she, this is an illusion that faltered for a second? The latter of the two. All right. <laughs> we get those eggs for you right now. Mm. Margo, I need help cracking eggs. Get to work. All right. <laughs> uh, is there anybody? I like mine poached. Oh, they're going to be pooped, all right. Don't you worry about that. Um, is there anybody back here? Uh, no, there's a number of skillets gotcha. on them. So. Wardorf has been just continually running back and forth. I got it, buddy. You I start. go and take some eggs and just start cracking them. The, uh, Dorothy's, <laughs> she's, a, she's a demon. What? She yeah. looks just like a, like, she's like a human. Look at her. Is any of the frying pans or anything really shiny? No. No? <laughs> Is there anything that's reflective? Any surface? Oh, wait. You need a mirror? Yeah, hold it up. <laughs> okay. What do you see? <laughs> um. And then I pull it down with my face over. <laughs> Half demon. That's what I see. <laughs> Half demon. <laughs> On me? Yeah. No, she is. No, she's a human. Look at her. Like, where? I, she's a human. I know my half demons now. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. Can I, I have my mirror back? Yeah. Half demon. Uh, prove it. Dorothy! Oh, Dorothy! Or, I'm sorry. Ring the bell. Order up! <laughs> Ding! The door cracks open. She's. Come on in, come on in. She's looking around for a plate of food. <laughs> it's gonna be up in just a second. I take the raw eggs that I just cracked. And I <laughs> Dripping through your fingertips. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, we'll cook those, Never mind. That's a little weird. Um, um, the toothpick guy. My, okay. Just tell her what you are. Is there a way, can I control at all, like, 
can I do like a flash of the eyes or something? Can she demon out? <laughs> yeah, like is there, oh, I show her my claws. Do you know anything about this? I don't, I, I, I can't afford makeup and, and to paint nails and, and I, I can't. No, I mean. Her eyes are on. locked on them though. Yeah. Um, let's just say that my, uh, my father. In the background. It, he, yeah, figure this out. He comes from low places, if you know what I mean. Now, do you know anything about that? It's okay, cool, it's all cool, you know. Tell her we're down with demons. I'm half demon. What, what? are you? What? Psst. I know I look so angelic, <laughs> but I am actually half demon. I'm so sad I'm missing this conversation. <laughs> so. Big impress, we're gonna have to get you, him one. He seems to think you are too. Oh, she is. Or are, are you like full demon? Like what's, what's the, I mean, you look human. I'm just gonna put that. I hope that's not offensive. I hope not. I have some good friends that are humans. I'm sure you're a very nice person. Yeah, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. See, she, she's human. She's. I mean, yeah. really, did that flip? Did they even fool you? Come on. That was some lackluster, weak nonsense there. Uh, Waldorf has uh, brought out plates to the two of you. Oh, excuse me, four of you. And as he is going back, checking on another table. What news you got from Corvosa? It's the nearest as you're from old Corvosa. Well, very- the same guy? Very bad. Very bad. It's tough times. I had to punch Grey Maiden in her face. Oh. Truly. Oh. <laughs> you want me to show you how I did it? He can show you. He's Who's not busy. Who's sitting over there with, uh, with Ufie? That's that annoying guy. Close the window. What's your story? Why are you she here? She can handle herself. You traveling? I'm a hunting. Oh, he is a hunting. What you hunting? Oh, bit of this, bit of that. Mm. Those bears. Squirrels? Uh, Deer? Oh, uh, I thought maybe, you know, bugbear. Mm. Traitors. He's, he's a little small. Huh? Traitors, huh? I've never seen those before. But I once seen a poop monster. Mm. A couple of them. What are you hunting? Traitors? Okay. You can't trade in this area? Just some kind of something happened? If you're going to interrupt my breakfast, you're going to have to keep talking. I once traded with Margo. Yeah. You have nice armor you got there. Yeah. Where'd you get that? I murdered someone for it. Did you now? Yeah. Yeah, he asked me too many, too many questions. That's so. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put my fork down. Chopping up some onions, a little tear, chopping up some more onions. This is What's why we don't split the party. Ancestry. Appears to be human. Listen, I normally don't murder humans until oh my after God. my second ale. I'm, I'm gonna finish my, finish my drink. So if you would let me finish my second ale, I would gladly murder you. <laughs> okay. Or you could go sit on the table over there and shut your human face. <laughs> Neil Landis is trying his best to, to drink. Who is that? I hear some weird voice coming from Yuffie's table, but I don't recognize it. Then Carlo <laughs> gently put his hand on your forearm. Friend, as you can see, we are newly arrived, quite hungry and tired. Perhaps you could give us a bit of time before we uh, converse. Hmm? <laughs> I just kid, I kid. <laughs> you think I'm murderous, or? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. No, I know kill human after second ale. Maybe fourth or fifth roll. Definitely sixth. Definitely, yeah. I just kid with you. We come from Rokorvosa. We're heroes. Where are you from? 
Kermaga. Don't know where that is. To reach the Cinderlands. Essentially, essentially the, the land you were on meets cliffs. They're immense. One can either attempt to climb those cliffs, but the easier path is to go through Kermaga, an anarchic city where if you want to disappear, no questions asked, you go there. Hmm. Good to know. <laughs> cool. Those things there? Not as interesting as Ingorosa. Mm -hmm. That's true. There's a blood veil there. Have you have you been to Corvosa lately? I I have. Recently? Yes. Mmm. You're, you're a very strange human. <laughs> Are you drinking, perhaps, on the mushroom? I think he's po possibly writing a book. We're not that interesting. This is Vincarlo. Oh <clears throat> my God. He's famous swordsman. Both of you will notice, please. Do I have to? <laughs> yes, you most definitely have to. This is your fault. Five. Uh, one. You're darting your eyes around the room. You see the table he came from. There were five other individuals oh seated there. And you've noticed them all None of them have a fork or a knife or a spoon in their hands. Their hands have gone under the table. Oh. And they're all just kind of sitting there, oddly. You realize they're listening and waiting. I'll look at Ben Carlo and then look over the table. <coughs> Back in the kitchen. <laughs> You and your big mouth. Scoop. Oh. Flip. I don't, I don't know what you hoped to accomplish here. Like, even if she is, like, what is, what? It's fine, you know? She's clearly not as good of a half demon as I am. Well, I mean, who could be? Right? Dorothy, is it? All right, well, one. Waldorf comes uh, in. Hey, Waldorf. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, like, we may have four or five pans going. There, there may Stuff. be an issue. What well, kind of issue? Oh. You know, I didn't put any food out yet. They're already know, complaining? <clears throat> like, uh, last yeah. time you were here kind of issue. Oh. Huh. I, is there a window or something to the back area? Yes. The pig's still there? Yes. Oh, it's not going to be that much of an issue. Uh, close that. What's, uh, you want to... Yeah, okay. Dorothy, whatever you are, I'm okay with it. Don't do evil things. All right. Taking out a hot pan of uh, potatoes, onions, onions, and grease. Making sure it's bubbly and walking out. Waldorf grabs her by her shoulders. You might want to stay here. Don't worry, Dorothy. We'll keep you safe. Or Waldorf. Make, make sure you we'll watch. You, you might learn something. You say that and stay here, Dorothy. He goes out. I think it's probably better if you hang out in the kitchen. Uh, I'm not gonna have you face this alone. I mean, we're 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 very capable. <laughs> As you step out, this thing is uh, popping in your face. You see these two mm. trying to eat. Mm. And that tall, skinny fellow is again looming over them at their table. I'm just kidding. But, you know, I have met Vin Carlo one time. Both of you will notice. <clears throat> but we are. Didn't change. We are a performing group. I we think, perform. You think you met him, but you didn't actually meet him. It was just somebody you thought was... Eleven. Was it? He was a famous swordsman. Look. Whatever's going Look. on, it's obviously caused Man. the tension to rise in this room. One table is just trying to ignore it and eat as fast as possible. <laughs> but the table the skinny guy came from, they're all hands under the table, looking straight ahead. Are there plates on the table? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, head over there and start dishing out 
the new uh, onion-infested uh, hash brown garlic uh, thing we've created. Oh, that sounds so Just good. Putting that down on some plates. <laughs> Enjoy, <laughs> gentlemen. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you look famished. There's any like any cutlery, silverware, anything like that on the table? Yes. Is there napkins or some kind of thing like that? Mm-hmm. Just snap that. Start putting it in the shirts. So this is my mom's recipe. Just uh, she taught this to me. It's uh, been the family for years. Next guy, snap. Put that in there. This is unnecessary. And uh, no, I, I assure you, it's a, it's it's family style. It's a new thing we're trying out here, and ev the whole table is going to get it. It's a test thing, so it's free. You're not going to be charged for it. Trust me on that. I know what it's like to you know have somebody try to upcharge you for something silly. Don't like that. Okay, so uh, dig in. Let's see. I, I got to see what you think. It's just got a little bit of spice to it, but I think you're gonna like it. it smells good. It I can't wait for us to get some. Gonna be well. I'm mean, gonna have to make up some more. There's just enough pan for each table. Hmm. Would okay. you this table here? There's. We'll wait. Would you like this, to see the little performer? Margo, 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 the magnificent. Skinny boy stands up to his full height and turns. Ah. Crew's all here. You. Bugsy going to start some shit now? Oh, yeah. you, you sense and we'll see Waldorf yes. step next to you. I don't want another dead NPC on our hands. You really need to talk to me. Endgiver is a problem. You look so serious. What's your name? He's forgotten. They call me Cavish. Cavish. That is a that is a fascinating name, Kavish. Are these your friends? Travel companions, more. Travel right? companions. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go. Sorry, can I make a common knowledge roll on the name? And he's also told us where he's from to see if there's bounty hunters or <clears throat> whatever this guy might be. Roll. Uh, five. Double five. has a familiar ring to it, but beyond that, you don't know. Okay, I apologize. Kavish <laughs> and friends, we have been traveling all day. We're all exhausted, Just you know. Our real quick, a couple of things. I need to know before we continue this. Is this Kavish? This is me. Oh. Okay. Are you still wearing the plague <laughs> mask <laughs> on top of your normal helmet? I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. Okay, and are you still wearing the red mantis helmet? <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Just wondering. Oh, boy. This is a part of our performance. <laughs> we are, our strength is, is sapped, honestly. Like, we're just, we're exhausted. We, we're hardly able to even stand on our feet right now. Um, wow. We're, you know, we're here for some good food, maybe just a quick little rest, and then we're gonna be moving on our way. Um, we, we, There's no better rest at all than we, in a grave. What? Mm -hmm. And all five of those guys quickly get up, knocking their chairs over, hands on weapons. I will stand. I didn't know it was gonna be that kind of party. <laughs> I will stand between all of them and the five people. I will move into position so that they're they Waldorf. can't reach these three. Waldorf suddenly stands next to you. Waldorf. Waldorf. I do not have this in my establishment. Gotta get him out of uh, here. You need to. I, I, I grab Waldorf, like full strength, grab the back of his shirt, and I yank him. Well, what's your strength? Um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's gonna be good. It's all fine. Give me a strength roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna jump on Gagarin's back. <laughs> okay. <Not angry>. yeah. <laughs> It just makes it that easier to ace. To protect Waldorf. There's no need for violence here. Five. Five. Hmm. Hmm. Like he would fight it. <laughs> Margo pulling him close? Yeah. Come on. <clears throat> he starts to. Then. Get to the kitchen, protect Dorothy. I don't want to hear any fighting from you. <laughs> no, come back for the formation point. <laughs> <laughs> I think he we have Max already. <coughs> well, 
well, well, well. Looks like we have here the Chalaxian standoff. We have the traitors of Corvosa, wanted by the queen. A little obvious there, dearie. Where are they? I, I think it's this guy. I mean, we're not trying to These high. guys? I think these guys are traitors. You're under arrest on behalf of the queen. Oh, well, very funny. I heard you had a sense of humor. Well, I heard that. I heard that. Our reputation precedes us. That's it, good. Do I still have a badge? Yes. Oh, yeah. I got one on my back. I flip, flip out my badge. Flip, flip. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're with the watch. And they'll flip it back. And we're counting on getting the bounty. From you know, the Sabina? Queen. She's very close to the queen. She's like basically the I'm queen's start like. Counting them. I'm growing weary of this, boys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna out loud start counting them. Weapons One, start two, being drawn. Three, four. They start mm-hmm. spreading out. The other people at the other tables went from trying to eat as quickly as possible to <laughs> filing out. Mm-hmm. Are there two old guys that haven't left yet? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> There's over at the fireplace. You, uh. You all, you all ready for this? I wave at him. Should we just pull the table over? It's easier. Didn't know it was going to be dinner and a show, boys. There's no need for violence. I think there's been a misunderstanding. No misunderstanding? I. What's the bounty? Am Margo. Sure. <laughs> no. I'm Margo. I'm Margo. A thousand gold. <laughs> That's it? Oh. We're worth <laughs> way more than that. I'm, I'm slightly insulted. <laughs> a thousand gold. Really? You guys don't have any bigger bounties to look for than a thousand gold. I'm sure that you Split could between, find what is it, five of them? easier targets, too. How many? Is it five? Six if you can include the skinny guy. Well, at least. Oh here, so you gotta include you the skinny guy. so cute. I, I assure you, I am not wanted by Queen. She no like me. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. I mean, I'll I'll give you two hundred right now to just go away. Let's see. And doesn't, and you get to live. Doesn't have to be a fight. It's, it's, How cool is that? Hey, it's only like one hundred and sixty-six gold piece. <laughs> is what they it's get. Like nothing. You know how hard. Is it worth <laughs> your life? So hey, two, I can promise you. Two hundred gold, free meal, and just leave. We'll More forget persuasion. about it. I'm gonna work the room. How are you working the room? I mean, I'm I'm backing him up. I'm you know, I'm saying all this, track, all I this like stuff. It. Yeah. Tell him, tell him all about it. Bro. Okay. Tell him there's no money. I got a seven so far, but I don't necessarily want to waste bennies on this. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Mm. Okay, seven. Seven plus two, whatever the two hundred gold, uh, you know, bonus might be. Hey, wait! I have persuasion. Can you back her up? Back her up. I have been? been. I've been sitting there telling them it's only one hundred sixty-six gold piece. Days are gonna die. That's just that yours. You two, it's almost more uh, intimidation than uh, persuasion. Oh. Five. Is it intimidation? I don't think it's intimidation. I don't have my knives out. No, but essentially you're telling him you're going to die if you continue along. He's um, just trying to... Just telling him that it's not going to be... Um, I haven't rolled intimidation. Financially but I can. responsible. <laughs> I Are agree. you going to? Hmm? Are you going to? I mean, if I have the opportunity to do it before there's combat, I definitely like to. The combat's coming. Is it? Is there no way around <laughs> it? We're trying. <laughs> do I roll anything else with it? Forgot. Uh, you would roll your, your intimidation, intimidation your wild and your wild die. Yeah. I don't add those together, right? Nope. Correct. Just pick one. So, eight. And how are you intimidating them? I am Margo! (laughs) Yes. Nothing scarier than that. I'm supposed to tell them, go on, take the money and run. I guess I could do it when I stepped out to between you guys. I want to get get that good sweet. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Be epic. There's a moment you think. Getting through to him. He's almost considering it. But there's a code. It's a code. To bounty hunters. 
<laughs> they were to be found out by other hunters that they had done this. Well, their reputation would be ruined. No. Nope. Better to die than face that. Well, well then. I'm not paying them a thousand gold. No. no. I'm just insulted by it in the first place, so. I know. God, we're worth I'm so much more than that. I tried. I have a code. I wasn't going to kill anybody yeah. before breakfast, but I mean. My code of honor has been uh, upkept. But well, we do have in Carl and, and the other guy violence. too. And you hear the, uh, as the two guys are pulling a table over to hide behind. <laughs> think it'll be as quick as before. Hey guys, who do you think's gonna win? Oh, there's shit. <laughs> bet, bet on the house, buddy. I mean, there's five, six of them. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them. And they're eh. professional bounty hunters. Eh. Don't take it. Uh... Eh. So uh, how's this done? Is it uh, a scrum? And it's all of us against all of you, or is it just you pick your best whatever against our best whatever? Ooh, pick me, pick me. Do we pair it off? How do we do the betting? You're a funny one. I like that. I do, I do, I do. This is going to be a scrum, isn't it? I really was hoping for the one-on-one -on -one thing. Han shot first. <laughs> I bolt. I bolt. <laughs> As I try to distract with you, how are we going to do the betting? Margo unleashes. Chaos. I bolt. Here we go. Uh, you sure you don't want to bone wall him up against the wall? Ooh. Oh, that would have been good. Yeah, it would have been good. Good luck getting out of that, guys. Let's go. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you I'm really hoping you get a two. Just so we can see your thing kick in oh, and you yeah. get a joker. Booyah! Joker for no Gavin. Way. What? Good job. Ah, six of hearts for Margo. Do I get a Benny? Eight of diamonds. We all get a Benny. Eight of diamonds for Defira, four of spades for Gagarin. Would have paid off for you. you would, four for Ruben Carlo. Would, but it would have six been six for Nylandis. Let these guys go on. The so first card out of the deck. Yeah. And Carlo goes with a nine. And you got an eight. I think we all need a Benny. Mm-hmm. Do you though? I'm gonna need those Bennies. Even when we get wild card, he's stingy with them. Yes. What? I don't know. I I don't think he's that stingy. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <clears throat> but I will say you were on hold since he kind of came without notice. So it's between the two of you, whoever wishes to go first. Well, I mean, I bolted. Go ahead. So, yeah, okay. Oh, gosh. Out the door. <laughs> it's been so long. It has been a long time since we've played. How long has it been? Years. Like a month. A month. I mean, I'm we're always ready to play. One of these things. Everybody at home. Oh, uh, five. Five hits. Okay. Um. Two die six, unless you spent the uh, points to boost it. Uh, six. Six points. Red lightning illuminates the room, slams against this guy. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's all you've got! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. What are you doing, Joker? Alright, there's uh, two yeah, points for the smite. That. There's one additional point for Ufi's weapon, one additional point for Gagargan's weapon, one additional point for Giancarlo's weapon. Is the Sinshaw got a weapon? He's got a short sword. One additional point for his weapon. Oof. So there's all of that. Then we're going to grab one of these and one of these. And we're going to get a nine, which I think is a raise. So it's a plus four to uh, damage only. And then, no, well, there's, it raises us high as it gets, because the Joker would have been another plus two, but that part really didn't matter. So 9, 10, 11. Is it just a hit? It's just a hit. Is that all you're doing? I think that's more than enough. Okay. As I hold my frying pan. I've got a four. Uh, to damage. So an additional, whenever you do your damage, just add in another four. Okay. Then Carlo. Leaps forward. Oh. You're gonna get to see it, buddy. Pretty spry for an old man. 
He has not drawn his weapon. Goes his oh, this is his signature move. He instead grabbed his plate of food like <sighs> this. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Huh. He's gonna beat him with a plate. What? I can respect that. Oh, what? Mm. He first did this in book three. She thinks he's cute. Oh, he doesn't like that. Look, look at Ufi right now. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's so impressed. I mean, I'm, I'm turned on, so I can't blame her. Oh brother. Blackjack's gonna kill you. So he grabbed that, does a one-handed cartwheel over the table, and what? then takes that plate oh. right into oh, the guy with oh. Adam's apple. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Drops to his knees. I, Gentlemen, do we need to do this further? Like, hold it Who up. Who else my, wants that? Hold up my plate, like, oh! <laughs> Your go. Uh, my go. Are they still looking uh, froggy? Who would choose this? I mean, we gave him every opportunity. You could have walked away with 200 Who's gold. Who's next after me? And a free uh, breakfast. Mm. And an amazing breakfast. But no, they are, they're, they're rethinking life, you can tell. I'm gonna hold. So it is them. This guy is shaken. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! It falls over. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, he killed you with his breakfast! Wait, we can't Wait. market that. I the can't have it. The second guy or the first no, guy? No, the guy that... Yeah. The boss. Boss. Yeah, okay, guy. thank you. Guy who took the breakfast. Just fell over. That would be bad. Mm -hmm. oh. uh. And then Vin Carlo. Eat some of the bacon that was stolen on his plate. Ew. How is that? It's good. Waldorf, man, he is, he's a, he's a catch. I think we should put blackjack like on the signage. Blackjack approves. Yes. The blackjack breakfast. Oh, I like that. We're going blackjack, to grab our man and leave. Flapjacks. Blackjack, blackjack, <laughs> flapjacks. Are you amenable to that? Who's saying this? One of the guys. Oh, it's like, who's... Who's the skinny dude with the... Uh, Kavish is the one who's he, on the ground now. Oh, Ow. yeah, have a nice day, gentlemen. Wait, wait, oh. wait. Sorry, this just in. Who sent you and why? Why are you after us? We were just eating breakfast. We'll let you go, but we need to know. Word's gone out. Queen wants you dead. That bitch. Listen. We took a guess that maybe uh, he might have gotten wise. We're trying to escape the city. We're so not we're... trying to escape the city. That's <laughs> cute. All right. But here you are. Ooh, look and believe. They're grabbing Cavish. Does he got a, a money belt or anything like that on him? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll walk up and go, excuse me, though. He, he forgot. What about weapons? I can keep all that. No, I want to take those. <laughs> like, we're gonna take... Oh, I want to take his boots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. not going to wear them. I just want to take them. Uh, they stop. One guy starts to step forward. Mm -mm. No, it's, there's a toll to be paid. You were offered 200 gold to just leave. So now, now there's a price to be paid. Somebody's got to clean this mess up. So that's not free. So. They continue dragging him out. One last thing. <laughs> you guys can tell other people that we're here. It's not going to do any good. This is our normal kind of routine here, so. Really, because that's what I was leaving. Yeah, no, what I mean I is can't. like, anyone that thinks like, they're gonna bring us in. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm like, here, I'm just gonna eat this breakfast and leave. We're gonna and take I'm not gonna pay every for single it. time. So. I wouldn't bother spreading the word. Have a nice day, gentlemen. The door shuts. Oh. Waldorf comes out. You all right? Yeah, we're okay. Now yeah, about the half demon in the back. Sorry about the You mess. had a mop bucket. Oh, but you know I do. Yeah. Yuffie, mm. punch me in the face. Don't punch him in the face. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna go get the mop. <laughs> I wanna go and, and talk to the other guys in the, on the other side of the room. The two old dudes? Yeah. <laughs> They've been real. How you doing, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna go get a mop bucket and start cleaning up the mess from <clears throat> I'm gonna the go outside and watch those guys leave. See where they go. Let's go stand out on the porch. 
uh, one of the wagons out there, apparently there, is they throw cabbage into the back of it. You hear one of them, what about his boots? Hell with his boots. Yeah, I'm gonna take the boots and literally just like throw them out in the pig's <laughs> sty. I told him after everything we'd heard is a bad plan to even take this job. <laughs> they, they, the rest of them hop in and then one of them's on the uh, board seat and slowly start trotting off away from Corvosa to who knows where. I'll just mumble under my breath. I'm not Margo. <laughs> Shareful. The pig snuffles the boots. Bites one of them. Looks at you. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Disappointed yeah. pig. Yeah, disappointed pig kids. Sorry. Pig. Better come back with some lettuce. That is so much better last time. No, I want to go <laughs> and talk to the old guys. Okay. Uh, what? How, how'd you like the show? Who's that fella? Which fella? The man took another man down with his breakfast. Oh. Who's that fella? <laughs> that is Blackjack. You've heard of him, right? What? <laughs> yeah, the famed <clears throat> Corvosan hero. Future king of old Corvosa. Blackjack. Huh. Wait, where's his mask? He doesn't need it. Who's that other fella? Oh, don't worry about him. He's nobody. Nobody important. Blackjack. I thought he had a, a mask and... Yeah, 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 yeah. A bunch yeah. of knives or something. I mean, he does, but he doesn't need it. Like, all he needs is a breakfast plate, as you can see. Um, can we top you off? Um, you guys are gonna love this potato. Yeah. Uh, actually, I, I, I got a bit of a question, actually. Sure. Um, Tap, tap, tap. What, what, what's that all about? I, distance, personal <laughs> space. Um, my, my helmet? I don't know, I just like it. I just found it lying around. Found it? Yeah, you believe that, right? Watch your toes, gentlemen. All he sees is a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, we want you to enjoy your stay here at the inn. We hope that the breakfast has been good, service has been good. Oh, it's always entertaining when you are about. Everything that just happened here didn't happen here. Again? Okay. Sound good? Yeah, that's funny. A lot of our time here is spent forgetting. Mm -hmm. Those are the best times. Yep. Please come again. Oh, but you won't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> or for the first time. Yeah. No worries about that. I saw a regular water hole. This is. Sounds good. How's the central? He is sat. He, he didn't just sit back down. He kind of just fell into his seat because he was wore out anyway. Like a food, sleep. I mean, Gavin did what he could, but still just on his, he was on his last nerve. So that suddenly was a bit much for him. I mean, he had grabbed up his short sword. He was ready to do what had to be done, but at the same time, and now he's looking. You get the impression he was kind of expecting Margot to remove the Mantis helmet, or he's still not sure what to think of Gagarin. Oh, no, sorry. You doing okay? As well as circumstances all will allow, I believe I am. Though that <clears throat> will continue to plague us, and I fear will be far more formidable in the future. Mm. We should get you a hat or something. Do you want to wear my helmet? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to give it to you, I just want to know if you want to wear it. Thank you, but no. I, uh, I'm all right. I'll see what I can do about a hat. Any dietary restrictions? Who are you talking to? The essential. Mm, no. Not allergy, dairy, nothing? No. Oh, perfect. We'll go back to the kitchen. I'm gonna go find the barkeep. 
Waldorf? Mm-hmm. You uh, push the door open to the kitchen and he's down on one knee talking to Dorothy. There's nothing to be afraid of. Why does she wear the bug mask? Because <laughs> she's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Because her beauty is so great, it would outshine <laughs> even the stars in the sky. Oh, yeah. No, it's because she's weird. <laughs> he turns and sees you. <clears throat> hey, I'm in the market for a hat. You have like a, a hat. Can it say I love tacos? Yes. I, I, I'd prefer if it said that. <clears throat> is there like a lost and found or? Actually. Funny you should say that. Mm. I wasn't sure what to do about this. I was going to burn it all, but he goes over, grabs a box. <laughs> Carmichael had a cloak, some gloves. He pulls out a wide brimmed hat and a hat. A what? A wide brimmed hat and a. And a cloak. And There's a cloak. some gloves. Okay. It's got blood on it. <laughs> all right. It's not like. Um, bloody or anything, right? <laughs> he was still in his bed clothes when you found him. Somehow. Okay, good. So it was nice and, yeah. Oh, that's right, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> okay, I got you. Thank you. It's like return to the st old stomping grounds for you for years. She's like, oh, so many good memories from getting that guy. <laughs> that will... <laughs> okay, I will take those and take those out to the center shop. Maybe this will help? Could not hurt. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Got like a witch hunter look, look to nice it. Look nice in the hat. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the kitchen. Did you say look like a witch I'm hunter? I'm gonna take my helmet off. <laughs> Just kind of hold it under my arm. I'm gonna look over. Thank you for everything. It's always good to see you. Always good to see you. Hope that we make our way back here sometime soon. Pray for it each night. Put the helmet back on. Walk out of the kitchen. Man, this place is really well stocked. Doing a great job back here. This is great. Oh, look at all the spices. And I said, uh, a lot of coin has come through here since last. Excellent. Year. Good to hear. Good to hear. My fear is there have been refugees coming through. But rumor has it that might not be the case for much longer. Well, I mean, hopefully, eventually, the plague itself runs its course. Hopefully, that should be taking care of itself here shortly. I don't know. But you'll still have travelers coming and going. You'll have, you know, the usual business. The trade will hopefully pick up in spades once uh, they open up uh, back to the to the world. So, if anything, I can see you being even busier now. What they said earlier. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Does the queen herself want you dead? You know, there's been some mis misunderstandings. There's been some disagreements. We do, we, you know, we've worked for her. She's called upon us in the past. So I'm sure that this is a situation that will work itself out again in the near future. Margo has a way of rubbing some people the wrong way. I know it's hard to believe, but when you put that magnificent beauty in front of a queen who's used to being the most beautiful, what do you think happens? Friction. By the gods, I never even considered that. Yeah. You get a little envious, a little jealous. Things happen. Is she going to be all right? Well, I mean, she's got a lot of friends. Is that, that why she wears the helmet? I mean, to yeah, go with that, yes. Yes, that is absolutely why <laughs> she wears the helmet now. So, she's been under a lot of stress. Hey, my ears are ringing. A lot of pressure. <laughs> But uh, luckily, she's got such a big heart that's true, that's true. that uh, she just can't stop leading this merry little band um, to help all those in need. Margot and her troopers, Man, it's a thing. I don't know why, but I just feel like I am so amazing. <laughs> you feel someone grab your hand. You turn and it's Dorothy. And just for a flash. It goes from pale-skinned little girl with plain hair 
to red-hued skin, black eyes, and horns, and fangs. And then back. Kill it with fire. Thank Kill you. It. Of course. Kill it. But really, honestly, you don't need us to protect you. You've got some natural talents, I can see. I think you'll be fine. Temple of Asmodeus wants, wants me. I, I, I'm hiding on a wagon. Do you know why? Do you know who your parents are? Just to be safe. Like Carol mm. did the saviors mm. in The Walking Dead. Mm. When did all of this start? <laughs> all this? Mm-hmm. Well, when my daddy demons my friend, love my human body. <laughs> Oh, and when did and you first, have you always you known that you're like this? Mm. She, up she earlier. lifts up her tunic and you see a uh, still glowing. <laughs> belt woven of many colored strands. That's why I can look like I'm a human. Mm. Smart. Smart. Anywhere I went. I vaguely recall having a mother. Someone took care of me. And then I was alone. Because of the way I looked, I was hated, feared. I mean, I can't blame them. I got lucky and got the belt. You can't not like somebody just because of the way they look. Waldorf's very nice. Yeah. He doesn't know. Please don't tell him. I won't tell him. But if he found out, I, I think it'd that. be okay, but I won't tell him. He's a good guy. He likes you. He's mentioned you before. I like him too. Are you all in danger? Does that happen all the time? <laughs> it's not unusual, but we can handle ourselves. We'll be fine. It's not unusual. Sorry, <laughs> copyright. <laughs> <laughs> It always makes me think of Mars Attacks, too. <laughs> she nods again. Hey, Margo's here for you. He'll be fine. Clack, clack. Say, thank you. Aren't you Margo? Yes. Oh, I'm Margo. I'm Margo. From the back, I'm Margo! <laughs> Is that the name of your, your group? No, she, but it should be. She wishes. I'm Margo. That's not I'm a bad Rob idea. Smedley. I like the way you think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, oh, stay Smedley, safe, kids. Smedley, Smedley. I love Smedley. <laughs> oh, Waldorf. I can't keep my hands off a good innkeeper. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Vin Carlo. I'm going to take a wild guess that that sort of interaction is not unusual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. That's all, that's all I'm saying. Humans don't typically care for us. They're a little racist. Yeah. It's okay, it happens. All the more reason to consider my offer. I'm be most interested in learning how to kill someone with a plate. It's not all about killing. I don't think. Well, I mean, it's him. not like the, you know, I don't want to like murder people, but just saying, if I have to, and I got a plate, that'd be pretty badass. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So, where are you all headed now? Somewhere. Where are we going? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, we just gotta w- go. Wherever, to that place. wherever the feet uh, and the boots take me. How are you feeling? Gavin's gonna wait no, 45 minutes No, I thought he was taking us somewhere. Up. Yeah, aren't you leaving us, taking us somewhere? Yeah. Where were, oh, like, I'm sorry, I assume that was Waldorf. It was Waldorf. Oh, okay, oh okay. I'm sorry. He okay. was still in the kitchen talking. Oh, okay. I switched over to Vin Carlo and you, mm, and now back to the house. You gotta know. Oh, okay, okay. Cut. Yeah, we're gonna cool. need to know. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Unless you're he, gonna start wearing hats. He never said he came back out, so we're still in separate areas. Or we could all be in the same area, so there's no confusion anymore. <laughs> no, we're in the kitchen. No, we love to separate. I'm gonna go outside. Gives everybody their their moment to shine. 
I don't want to get in the way of you getting ready to kill people, and then I can come in and help later. But I'm gonna go initially, use, that's on you. I'm going to go use the points that Gavin spent on my mall and start knocking trees down. <laughs> Are they at least going to be like dumb I'm trees? Like, some kind of like extra party? Just random trees. You can't just do random. What, one, it's got to have a point. Ones that look like they got faces. <laughs> I hate that tree. So business is good. Things are up. That's excellent. Good, good, good. How you feeling? You any time off? No, I know that feeling. Make sure Gavin goes and rest for 45 it's minutes before I come back. Unfortunately, it's the life. All right. <laughs> Kneel down, say off. I'm sorry? <laughs> We've been through this before. You know how this works. Still? Yeah. There's a plague going around, buddy. You got to make sure that the staff of this fine inn is in tip-top shape. You go down, what happens? You're going to put like a 12-year-old in charge of the bar? All right, might be 21. <laughs> We're not sure. I get a five. The humans, they all look alike. He looks to be in good health. Good job, buddy. Take, keep doing whatever you're doing. Living that good life. So, there's been any, uh, any more interesting folk uh, show up? Any things of that nature? Just these guys recently? I mean, they didn't seem that interesting, to be honest, mm -hmm. until, until they were. Okay. Well, if you need anything, um, try to get word to the Fresh Brew in uh, Corvosa. Send a letter, however that works, and uh, you know, do my best to come and check on it. Whatever our cut is, uh, just reinvest. Have a nice day. Thank you. I'll go. Doing a good job out here. Take good care of Dorothy. <laughs> What's up? I said back off. <laughs> Uh. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. It says bar. That's so cute. Alrighty. I all of a sudden feel like my life is in danger and I will <laughs> get my hands off the man and walk on out. That's a pin. What is it? It's a, yeah, it's a little pin. It says bar. Uh, it has aw. like a little loot. Uh, that's the one I want. <laughs> Add it to my collection. Oh, oh, you got, uh, you got two, lots of pins two today. Pins and buttons today. Gagargan. I'm outside. Look at Margot's flair. Margot has many pieces of flair. Gagargan, how many pieces of flair do you have? You have souvenirs. That is not flair. Yeah. I'm like the old lady. Do you have any the Geek Street pins? Brings all the, the trolls. Uh, yes, so this is. I do. Went to my <laughs> how many trees have I knocked down, man? I mean, these are all yeah, I have to be. stout, living, healthy trees. So I'm gonna drag whatever ones I get and take them over where they do the firewood. Break? It would appear so. <laughs> As he breaks the trees, so too do we break. <laughs> okay.